Welcome to the next lecture of our course, Selenium with CSharp.net. And in this lecture, we'll be talking about understanding Selenium code in depth. If you remember, in our last lecture, while we were trying to write the code, we used quite a lot of methods. Like we called an instance of a new Chrome driver, which was mainly to construct a new instance of the Chrome driver. That is what we used to invoke the Google Chrome browser. And then we also used a method called as a navigate, which was mainly to navigate to a particular specific URL like google.com in our case. And then we used a go to method in conjunction with the navigate method to navigate to that particular website. And similarly, we used a manage method in order to manage the browser's option, like to call the window, to maximize the window or something like that. And then we also used a method called as find element. And within this find element method, we also used a by class, which was mainly to perform certain operation to identify the element in the web UI using different ways like name or ID or link text. So we'll be talking about them in this particular course, but for now, this is, this is the method that we actually used. And then we also used a send keys method to perform a sending of text into that particular UI, like the search box in our Google. And then we also used a special character to hit enter key on that particular element. So these are the methods that we actually used. But the next question naturally comes is like, how do I remember as a newbie of Selenium to all these methods that is available in Selenium? Where can I find all these details? Well, there are so many ways that you can actually find all these methods, but the best way I would probably recommend you to do is by practicing Selenium, by watching these kind of videos that you have got, or you can look at the API documentation. So if you just go to your browser and then if you just search for the Selenium API documentation and then you will land to this particular URL over here and you can just go to this particular URL or maybe you can just say Selenium C Sharp API documentation, which is this one. And you will see that there are all the details available for you like this. So you see that there is this uh, open QA.selenium. If I just expand this particular stuff, and this is the namespace that we're talking about. So if you go to this particular code that we wrote, you see that we use this using open QA.selenium. So this is a namespace in C sharp. And that's exactly, it's like a folder structure that you can use. So see that open QA.selenium is the same thing that we are doing over here. And there is this open QA.selenium.chrome, which is also over here. So if I expand this namespace, you see there are different classes available over here. And one such class is the by class. See that? So this is a by class and also gives you all the details like what are the things that you can use with the by class. So this by class is something that we used in conjunction to identify the element using the name. And if you see in this particular by class, you can actually just scroll down a bit and you can see all the different methods available. Like for example, methods like class name, CSS selector, equals find element, find elements, ID, link text, name, partial link text, tag name, and XPath. So all these are the different methods that is available over here for you to identify in the UI using the by class. And similarly, you have the capability type, which is gonna be a class especially used for the different capability, like accept the SSL certificate, browser name, browser version, enabling profiling, handling alerts, has a native events, something like that. I mean, we'll be talking about these things once we get there. But for now, uh, you don't have to worry about this capability type. But some of the most common of them we just used is probably is going to be the web driver. So you can see that the keys class that we just used to perform the return key entry over here. So you can see there are so many different keys available. Arrow down, arrow left, arrow right, arrow up, backspace, cancel, clear, whatever that you find in your keyboard, it's all there over here. So you could use that as well. And if I just go all the way down a bit, you see that we also have the web driver. So this web driver is a class, it's not an interface, it's a class over here. And it actually is going to be responsible for you to perform all the different operation on the particular UI, but you're not going to be directly calling the web driver class, rather you actually call the web driver interface, which is this one. So iWebDriver. So if I go and hit that, you see here, 
it has all the different methods that we just saw close manage navigate quit and switch to so if i go to the manage over here you see that the manage is basically an returns an i options interface so that is the reason why once you click the once you go to the navigate and then once you hit dot there like this like navigate dot you get the go to url so if i go to the navigate method it returns you the i navigation interface and if i go to the i navigation interface you can see that they have the method called as go to url something like that so this is how you can keep digging and understanding what method is available so this is one way to do it from here but if you have this ide like this you can also do it by doing control click or maybe just right click and then you can just go to the definition and then you can see that it is automatically going to navigate to the definition over here but it won't give you quite a lot of detail because this is like a decompiled version but the decompiled version of the code doesn't give you like all the implementation details so you need to have some other tools in visual studio called as resharper or something like that which is going to give you even more detail i mean i'm not going to go into those technical details yet but yeah you can get the source code as well from here itself so you don't have to go to that particular documentation that you just see but you get the idea right like how these things are working so this is how you can keep exploring selenium code one by one another easiest way to get experience into selenium by exploring all the different components is by just hitting a dot on the web element and you get to know all the different methods which is available over here for example you see that we have a click method so what is going to happen after the click method so for example over here i'm just going to write like web element dot click so this is the method which is available so you see that visual studio is also going to show you tap tap to accept so if i just hit the tap and then another tap it just auto completes the whole code for you which is neat but i don't want to i want to see if there is any other method available after the click so if i hit dot you see that it actually doesn't have anything uh, that's the reason why it shows you some auto generated code from artificial intelligence but they're not going to use this artificial intelligence yet so these are automatically going to come from the visual studio itself like visual studio also has an inbuilt ai capabilities which is going to give you the suggestions for you but this suggestion is wrong so don't take this suggestion from visual studio so you see that there is no method available that's the reason why it doesn't come but if you go to the find element and now you have hit dot you see that there are methods available so it's going to show you all of them over here and just a pro tip for you if you're new to visual studio if there is a star over here in the click and there is a click method over here as well the star indicates the most frequently used method for the find element combo that's why there is this click submit get attribute get dom attribute and get css value comes in which means these five methods are most commonly used in the community and visual studio knows that this method is the next operation that you probably will be doing that's why there is a star there but if you're going to be using like send keys even though send keys is the next thing that you have used uh, you probably will be seeing that as a star as well based on your usage in visual studio on this particular project that's why you have a star there that's a pro tip for you nothing to do with selenium so yeah you already got the idea of how we actually can explore the selenium in much better fashion you can use the api documentation you can also see different way to get to into the particular method or there is one more way which i forgot to tell you is the actual github repository itself so if you just go for selenium c sharp or dot net github something like that you will actually see so many things coming up but actually guess what just go and search for selenium c sharp github like that uh, and go to the selenium and within the selenium you see there is something called as dot net over here so if you just go to the dot net you see it's going to show you all the different source code so this is going to be the complete source code of the selenium so because as i told you selenium is an open source project you can also get to see its source over here so if you just hit source you see that there is a support and there is a web driver and this is the one that we actually installed the selenium dot web driver if i go and hit that you get to see the whole source code here so this is the complete source code and you see that there is this webdriver.cs class file 
and of course there is going to be an i web driver interface of the web driver as well see that i web driver so if you go and click that cs file you get to see the complete source code here so this is the actual interface implementation that is available over here i mean this is the actual interface not the implementation but interface will be implemented by the caller class which is the chrome driver in our case so we just go to the chrome browser here you see that there is a chrome driver this chrome driver is going to implement the iweb driver interface as you see here the chrome driver is going to call the chromium driver so i guess chromium driver is the one which is implementing that so if i just go to chromium there is this chromium driver and you see that it is actually going to be implementing the uh, web driver class file and it has got all the different methods required to perform the operation so that is the complete source code for you at your disposal so this is the another way that you can see even the source code of selenium to get to know more about selenium if you are comfortable with it and it shows all the methods which are available so this is the way that we can keep exploring selenium but yeah it's up to you like how you wanted to explore selenium but for a basic beginner i think you have got all the toolings and information required for you if you wanted to know more about selenium at least in the source code perspective and methods perspective